Obsidian or bare? This is another popular question that usually pops into my comment section and been asked by a lot of people. In this video I'm gonna help you form some opinion around these two applications. Uh, I've been using these two applications for quite a long time extensively. Uh, Obsidian for work on my Windows machine as a software engineer and uh, bare application for everything else. During this long time I've formed some strong opinions so I believe this is going to be very helpful for you. The way I broke down the video is I'm going to take you through the user interface and experience of these two applications and then how they are fundamentally different in terms of managing your data, how you can import and export, uh, how is your ownership of your data, privacy, security, and then finally compare them in terms of prices and sync options. So stay with me, it's going to be fun. When you open both applications side by side, the first thing that pops into your eyes is how minimalistic the Bear application is and how customizable the Obsidian is. Obsidian is designed to be configured. Obsidian is designed to benefit from third-party plugins and themes also. Uh, means anybody can create a theme and publish it to their store and you can literally download it and apply it to your application. On the other hand, their application has a set of predefined themes by the developers, and I would say those are really beautiful and would never get boring. Both applications will never get boring for you. Bear application has a fixed interface. On the right hand side is always your notes, in the middle section list of your notes, and on the left hand side is your sections and tags. On the other hand, Obsidian is designed to have two side panels which can take literally anything. So if you install any third party plugin which provides an interface, you can just drag it and drop them on the side panels. And it doesn't only take one. You can drop multiple interfaces on the side panels and stack them vertically. In terms of platforms, BearNote is available across Apple ecosystem with a web interface which will be published soon. Is it still in private beta? And in the future, you will be able to access your Bear Notes on a Windows machine in a web app. On the other hand, Obsidian is a fully cross-platform application with support for Android app and a Windows standalone application, but there is no web interface. And also something you need to be mindful of, the experience on the mobile devices is incomparable. The mobile experience on Bear application is flawless, while on the other hand, Obsidian mobile experience is not very good. Especially if you install a lot of plugins, community plugins, your application will struggle to load. So the loading time is a lot. The capture ability is not great. The way you organize your data in these two applications are slightly different. In Bear application, you are provided with tags and sub tags. You can assign a note, a tag or a sub tag. And this is how you create a section in your application. On the other hand, Obsidian organizes your data in three different way. Apart from having tags and sub tags, you can have folders as well because you have physical files. So you can drop your files into any folder. You can even create subfolder. These will be physical folders in your vault. So you have an extra dimension of organizing your data in Obsidian. As for the features, both applications have exceptional note-taking abilities. So they literally give you everything you need for note-taking. Both applications support markdown with the difference that um, bare node application will store your data in a SQLite database while in Obsidian it will be stored in an MD file. Both applications support to-dos and tasks but I don't know who will be using it. You should be a psychopath to use note-taking application for your task management. If you're a programmer or you deal with codes both applications have very beautiful interfaces for code management. They give you block of codes and they color code your code. The section will number your code. You can collapse and expand any block of codes. Both application takes attachments with the difference that, again, their application will store in a SQL database while Obsidian is stored as a file in your vault. If you're drawing your note, both applications support it. Their application supports it natively and it uses Apple SDK for drawing, so you can fully benefit from the Apple Pencil features on the Bear on an iPad, while on Obsidian, you need to install Excalidraw, 
which is a third party plugin, and then you can draw your notes. This is Aqua, and it's gonna be on my dock from now on. But wait, I didn't tell you the full story yet. Aqua Voice is a clever AI dictation tool which lives as a standalone application on your desktop and you can summon it each time you need to using a shortcut key. This is a title created by Aqua. Now let's start typing here. I mean, talking here. As you saw, Aqua Voice corrected everything, understanding the deep context. YouTube.com slash at sign Ben Cyberlife. Did you see what just happened? I provided instructions using natural language. Meet Mason for lunch at 2 p.m. at 1.30 p.m. Public, static, class, student, open curly braces. I can even use Aqua Voice for casual coding and typing my syntax for me. Now let's try some vibe coding. Let's create a HTTP client with a post method. Change the base URL to localhost 5050. That was amazing. Aqua Voice detected the variable and the value itself from the screen using deep context. Aqua Voice got you everywhere. It's just one shortcut key away. Now you know why I decided to keep it on my dock forever. Now, how are these two applications different for data management? The data type for Obsidian, as I told you, is MD file. It will be stored in a, in a vault for you which is basically a folder. On the other hand, Bear uses SQLite database and it stores in your iCloud application. You have the full ownership of your data in both applications. So in Obsidian, your vault is locally stored and in Bear application, your SQLite database is stored in your own iCloud account. The sync in both applications are end-to-end -end encrypted. In Obsidian, you need to purchase the sync which is the way that you support the team for further development and this is how they earn. In Bear application, once you purchase the premium, the sync is provided, it automatically done for you across all your devices using your iCloud account. For Obsidian, you can use your own storage account as well. Like for example, if you have iCloud, if you have, uh, I don't know, Google Drive, you can drop your vault in it and sync across your devices. The only drawback is sometimes the configuration do not work or your notes will take time in compared to their native sync is not as reliable. Import and export are provided in both applications generously. They do not tie you into their ecosystem or their app. For example, in Bear, you can import even natively from certain applications like Evernote, Obsidian, and the export is also provided with full functionality and all the market standard extensions. In Obsidian, is much simpler. You can export from other applications as MD files and just drop your file into your vault and then you have it. There are also certain plugins that you can install on Obsidian from third parties, which facilitates the migration from other applications. In terms of pricing, both applications are very fair. Bare applications are slightly cheaper at three pounds or three USD per month or 30 pounds or 30 USD per year. Obsidian is completely free as a standalone application. You get the updates, you get the application for free and all the upcoming features. If you want to use their own sync, is slightly more expensive. For one vault, one gigabyte is $4 annually or $5 per month. And for 10 vault, 10 gigabyte is $8 annually or $10 per month. To sum up everything, Bear is quite enough, quite sufficient for a lot of people. If you do not want to customize your application, if you do not want to touch a lot and you prefer minimalism over customizability. On the other hand, if you prefer to deep down customize everything in your, in your application, then you should go with Obsidian. Both these applications do not lack any feature that stops you from taking them seriously for your long-term note-taking second brain. And this is exactly why I use Obsidian for work purpose, because I want customizability, I want uh, different kind of plugins that help me manage my codes, especially in the application. And on the other hand, I use Bear for personal use and everything else such as scripts, 
uh, journals, memos, and even the scripts of these videos. It is now the time that YouTube will suggest you on the screen two of my videos that are relevant. I specifically placed them for you to watch. I hope you enjoyed it. A thumbs up and a subscribe will go a long way. I will see you in the next one. And until then, take care of yourself.